Welcome to another StyleCAD version 12 tutorial. Today I'm going to introduce you to digitally doing dart manipulation and pivoting, one of the first principles within flat pattern making. Let's get into it. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to go straight over to my cut toolbar. You'll notice that I have split my uh, dress block in half and I've drawn in my darts using the Bezier polyline tool. Hopefully in the past two previous videos you've learned how to use the Bezier polyline tool as well as the cut and join feature. But I'm going to give you a brief overview just in case. So our main goal in dart manipulation is to close one dart and add that fullness or add that dart allowance into another dart. And that's basically what we're going to do here. So my first kind of process here, I've already drawn in my darts using the Bezier polyline tool. So the first step is I need to cut the darts out. So I have something to move with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my cut tool and I'm going to click once on the dart leg. And as you can see, both dart legs have turned blue and therefore I can move this dart out and delete it. To move, all I need to do is hold in control click and drag my dart allowance out. I then can simply press delete. And I've deleted that dart allowance now. Okay, let's get out the waste dart. I'm gonna click once on one dart leg. You can see this time it's only cut out one dart leg as it's turned blue. So you'll need to click on the other one as well. Once again, holding control, click and drag and delete. So now we have a pattern piece that we can move around to get rid of some of that dart allowance. So we need to use the rotation tool to rotate some of this dart allowance out. Now, it, it's a good note here that I'm working on the standard edition and I don't have the professional edition, the PE version, which has some more advanced features such as the dart transfer tool, which I'll show in a future video. If you're studying at the White House Institute of Design, Kangan Institute or New Futures Training within Australia, then you would have PE and therefore would be able to use the DART transfer tool, which I'll show in a later video. Unfortunately, when I purchased a, a license to StyleCAD, I had uh, back in the day, standard edition. So uh, in this particular video, I'm gonna show you the old method uh, to transferring dart allowance. And it's a good time to note that every pattern maker has a slightly different theory or methodology of pattern making, uh, and mine, you know, you might not like. So please feel free to uh, experiment and use your own pattern making theory uh, and pattern making principles to create your designs and styles. This, these particular videos are based on my education within pattern making uh, and theories and beliefs about pattern making and block construction. Uh, as I would say there's no right or wrong way to pattern make, my pattern making teachers would probably argue with me, but uh, I think as long as you get to the style at the end of the day, uh, I've seen some amazing creative pattern makers use lots of different methodologies. Okay, so let's grab this rotation tool the rotation tool is on the top toolbar. It looks like this. I'm gonna click it once to activate the rotation tool. So in order to rotate this pattern piece, I need to hold in control and click once. The pattern piece will then turn red. And any kind of tool you use in StyleCAD, if you hold in control and click once, Any tool you use in StyleCAD, if you hold in control and click once, then it will select the pattern, which is what we've done here. Now, using my rotation tool, it's important that I start at the center point of the dart. Uh, so within this bodice, we're at the apex point. So I'm going to click and hold and drag out a rotation line. So as you can see, I've got this rotation line here, which I can rotate the pattern in. So I'm going to click and hold from that center point of the dart and click on the bottom of the dart leg and let go. And this will enable me to rotate this pattern around this apex point. So I could either, you know, get rid of the waste dart allowance and close that dart and open it all in the side seam, 
or I could close the side seam and open it all in the waist there. So let's just, yeah, let's close the waist by clicking and now you can see I've got one in the side seam. But we're not finished yet in terms of dart pivoting and manipulation here because if I click control and move this pattern piece, we've still got two separate pattern pieces. So I need to join them back together. So back to my cut and join toolbar, I'm gonna to select my join tool, click and hover over both lines, click and drag and press okay. Now I've got one pattern piece back together. Perfect, so we've managed to pivot out the waste dart allowance into the side seam. Now I'm gonna show you how to transfer this dart allowance into another location. Obviously with dart manipulation here in the bodice, we're at the apex point, so we could move this anywhere we desire, um, as long as it comes back to this apex point. So this time I'm gonna open up my graphics toolbar with my Bezier polyline tool. I'm gonna to select the pencil, and I'm gonna click at the apex point and I can either pivot this out into the, uh, into the neckline, into the armhole, into the shoulder. Shoulder's not a very flattering one, so let's go straight into the armhole. So I'm going to right click to end my line. Once again, I'm gonna cut the pattern tool by selecting the Bezier polyline tool and it's turned blue, which is fantastic. I'm gonna grab my rotation tool Hold control, click once, and I'm gonna click and drag, let go, and then I can rotate this pattern piece around that apex point. This time, I'm transferring all the dart allowance into the armhole, just like that, which is fantastic. And But remember, we're not finished. We need to join the two lines together again. So I'm gonna grab my join tool, select both lines, click, and drag and press OK. Beautiful, fantastic, looking really fantastic. Okay, uh, let's do one more for practice. So I'm gonna grab my Bezier polyline tool again, click and I'm gonna pop that down there. Let's put it back in the waist and I'm gonna grab my cutting tool, click on the line so that's cut. Uh, now, as you can see, it's accidentally cut through the top of the pattern here. And the reason for this is because I've accidentally got a point there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo that line. And it's really important to make sure that you're accurate in this program or things can start to go wrong. So this time I'm gonna grab my polyline tool and I've got a couple of drill holes in there as well, which is a bit concerning, but <laughs> let's try this again. So I'm gonna grab my cut tool and that's looking better. Now I've been able to cut that pattern in two. So again, rotation tool, hold control, click once. Uh, we can click and drag, join the pattern piece back together, join together. And after you've done it a couple of times then you, you can do it without even watching <laughs> and press OK. Now, there is one thing that we haven't done yet uh, and oops, we have accidentally distorted our grain line. Uh, let me just, you can adjust your grain line by using the point tool. Or actually, I can show you a bit of a trick here. I can grab this grain line and right click and I can level grain line. Oops, uh, not level grain, I can set green line to default angle, uh, which is where our center front is at the moment, just like that. Or you could also, you can manually do it with your point tool. Anyway, off topic. <laughs> so there's one thing wrong with our dart here. We can't leave darts empty like this. And any pattern maker out there would know that if we printed this pattern out and sewed it together, uh, it would not be true. So what we need to do is we need to open up our dart toolbar on our left hand side. I'm gonna go over and grab the dart. Grab that dart there. And what I'm gonna do is select over both the dart legs, but also 
the bottom uh, or the waistline there. Then I'm going to click and drag and ta-da, we have trued our dart here, which is fantastic. Now, one other tricky thing we can do with darts, uh, let's say that we were doing, uh, and this is, I'll show this further in a more, when we get to the contouring principle of pattern making, but let's say that we needed to take out a bit of a gape dart in the armhole, if this was a sleeveless dress. I could grab my polyline, uh, Bezier polyline tool, and let's say we're gonna have a mini, we might have some gape that we've taken out here. So I'm gonna draw a Bezier line. Then with my line segment tool, I'm gonna to select over the outside area of the arm line and the inside line, and I can press V1, which stands for dart one centimeter. Uh, that's probably a very big gape dart. <laughs> what am I talking about? Let's go 0 0.2, uh, sorry, we can go V for dart, 0 0.2, click once, and we've got you know a bit of a gape dart happening there. Um, and we can also true that dart by selecting the true. And now that we've got um, a little gate dart there that we could, uh, now we could close that dart um, using dart manipulation. Uh, but that's a little bit more <laughs> advanced. We can cover that in the contouring video. So that is how we do dart manipulation and pivoting within StyleCAD. How fantastic. Now, while I've got you here, <laughs> why don't we give it a go in the skirt as well? So here I've got a dart, and this time we're gonna add some fullness. Uh, so I'm kind of cheating because the next video is on adding fullness with pleats and whatnot. But let's add uh, some fullness using dart manipulation and pivoting within this skirt here. So I'm gonna grab my Bezier polyline tool once again. I'm gonna click on the center of the dart. Hold shift and select on the hem of the skirt. I'm going to cut out and I probably should have cut out the dart before I drew in the Bezier polyline tool, but that's okay. Hopefully StyleCAD will be happy. <laughs> so I'll grab my cut and join toolbar. I'm gonna to cut open this dart. Once again, holding control, click and move it away, press delete. And now we're gonna pivot and add some fullness into the hemline here. So once again, I'm gonna grab my rotation tool, holding control, click once. Oh, sorry, we need to cut open. So we've got two, two separate pattern pieces. So once again, control, click, click and drag. Ta-da, we've added in fullness into our hem there. All I simply have to do now is I need to connect these two pattern pieces together using the join toolbar. Can press OK. But I also need to join this hemline as well. So I can grab my Bezier polyline tool, join these together and using my point toolbar, I can get rid of by pressing delete, like so. And we could probably right click and turn these into smooth grading points to make sure that we've got a nice hemline happening there. We don't want any curved points. We do have quite a bizarre extra line segment tool there, which you could possibly delete. Beautiful, now I've got a really lovely, nice um, hemline there. Thank you for watching this video on dart manipulation and pivoting, one of the first principles in flat pattern making. In the next video, we'll have a look at more advanced features such as adding fullness 